Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. I am so excited to film this video. Um, this is going to be my holiday sort of gift guide slash haul. Most of the things you'll see in this video I purchased for myself. Um, I do have a couple of items that were gifted to me for my birthday. I'm a November baby. I have a lot of stuff to show you. So I would recommend getting a drink, getting a snack and getting comfortable because I want you guys to enjoy this as much as I do. Now, as I go through these items, I will put the price in Australian dollars on the screen. I'm not going to do international prices because it's going to blow out my work time for this particular video. Um, I will verbally let you know where I purchased them from. Um, and also, I for some of the items, like I've got like packs that contain minis and stuff like that, I would like to do a little uh, price comparison to like a full size. So like approximate value of the pack and whether it, it works out to be good value. Um, so that will be on the screen. All right, let's get into it. I am going to start with advent calendars. This is the Ciate 12 Days of Christmas advent calendar. So this is a 12 door calendar and I purchased it from Mecca.com. .au. So inside there is a selection of makeup items. There's, I think there's a bronzer, there's some eyeshadows, a mascara, an eyeliner, uh, liquid lipsticks, uh, makeup remover, highlighter, things like that. So the reason I purchased this was because what I've tried from Ciate, like their liquid lipsticks and mascara, eyeliner, stuff like that, I really enjoyed it. Um, I have tried one of their eyeshadow palettes. I really liked it so I'm you know I'm keen to try the eyeshadows that are in here as well um, and it's just kind of it's a nice little dedicated brand advent calendar I would like to see this be 24 or even better 25 days I think 25 day advent calendars are the bees knees the next one I don't remember what's in here I know it is brand specific which again excites me um, but it's gonna be a bit of a surprise. So, this is the Mecca Cosmetica Spectacular. Now, it is a limited edition advent calendar style thing. Um, I'll open it up here and I'll show you. Now, this is exclusive to Mecca Cosmetica, so, or Mecca Maxima as well, I believe. So, if you don't live in Australia, uh, or New Zealand, you probably won't have access to this, and I'm sorry. But if you're an Aussie, <laughs> you might like this one. So, open it up like so, and there are 12 drawers inside. I'm not, I'm not opening them because I'm scared that the products are just going to be like sitting in there and it's going to spoil the fun. Now, they're not numbered, um, which makes me sad. Could have been done. Um, but it is done in that advent style so you can simply open a drawer every day which is what I'm going to do now this wasn't marketed specifically as an advent calendar I can't remember if I said that it's heavy guys it's really heavy um, so that one on the back it says it was $165 and it contains I know there's a few tools in there but it is all Mecca Cosmetica branded items I don't know if they're full size I I have no idea. Um, I just knew that there was a lot of products in there that interested me and I wanted to try it out. I don't know if it's good value. Advent calendars are going to be hard to tell you whether they're good value or not because I don't know what's inside them so I can't compare them to a full-size product and like work out the cost and I don't know how big the items are in there and I'm not spoiling the surprise for myself um, but I will let you know price per item. Before I move on uh, from this particular advent calendar, I actually want to talk about the artwork that is on this packaging, so Mecca Cosmetica's holiday packaging, um, and also on their shopping bags and their gift boxes. So these are the boxes that come with um, online orders, and I've got one more to show you. Don't judge me. 
So this beautiful artwork, um, I spoke about it in a vlog when I sort of showed a little mecha haul. Maybe it was a big mecha haul. I can't remember. It was a mecha haul. Um, and I didn't know the artist's name. And now I do. And I'm so sorry if I butcher this. Uh, I believe it is Claudia Mudunuthi or Mudunathi. She is an Australian Indigenous artist and she has created some beautiful, beautiful artwork for these boxes. And Mecca has actually commissioned an art install installation for her at the National Gallery of Victoria. Um, and I just think that, I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. It is absolutely beautiful. It is festive. It has that real, like, amazing Australian feel to it and I just I love it like Mecca got all my money this year and you will see that seriously they got all of it all right let's have a break from beauty advent calendars and do some sweet advent calendars now every year I buy myself um, an advent calendar that is like a sweet treat basically now I can't eat much chocolate because it gives me migraines if I go overboard. So usually I would buy um, the Trolley Advent Calendars and if you're not familiar with the brand it's like they make gummy bears and stuff like that. Um, but after having them for like the past five or six years I'm kind of over it. Uh, so when I was on Selfridges I was looking at their Advent Calendars and I noticed they have the Jelly Belly Advent Calendar. This is a 24 door Advent Calendar. I believe it was under 30 Australian dollars. There are 24 bags of like different flavored jelly beans inside. I did see one of these or something similar to this at Maya last year and it was absurdly expensive. Like I could not justify that. As much as I love Christmas, I just couldn't do it to myself. So. When I saw this on Selfridges, I peed my pants a little bit and then I purchased it. So, nice little treat. Chocolate. Uh, so I did say, I can't have much chocolate, but I love lint. I love it. It is delicious. And my plan is to essentially share this with my family. So I get to open the doors and occasionally have a piece of chocolate. Um, but the family can also enjoy because sharing is caring and it's a season of giving. So this is a Lint Teddy Advent. It's 24 doors again, seriously. Like, we need 25, okay? Just saying. Companies, brands, 25. Um, inside, Big Bear, and then there's some little chocolates for the rest of the day. So there's a reindeer, teddy bear, some little like chocolate balls, and little individual chocolates. So I'm excited to open it. It's like, I went crazy with the advent calendars this year. Oh, it is time for the beast. The beast is here. This is the Look Fantastic Beauty in Wonderland advent calendar. Let me open this up. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I don't remember how much this cost me. You guys will see it on the screen. Uh, I don't know if it's still available. I'm sorry. I pre-ordered this months ago, like maybe September. I received it in October, I know that much. Um, so inside are four drawers and I'll take a drawer out and show you. So that's what a drawer looks like. That's the top drawer and you can see day 25 is very big. Um, I'm excited to open it. I do not remember what's in here and that makes me even more excited. One thing about Look Fantastic Advent Calendars I always recommend them to people who are like, I want a beauty advent calendar, what should I get? I always recommend the Look Fantastic one because it's a little bit pricey, but it's always great value. They ship anywhere in the world and shipping for this particular item is not too expensive. I think it cost me, I think it was about 16 Australian dollars. I might be completely wrong. It'll be on the screen. This is another heavy one. This one, Oh, let's not blind everyone. This is a beauty advent calendar from Selfridges. Now, I will let you guys know, Selfridges do 
two well they do one that i was aware of every year and it's amazing it's got makeup and skincare and beautiful luxe brands um and like cult products and really popular stuff and heaps of little perfume minis and every year i want it and every year it doesn't ship internationally because of the perfume um and when I was on Selfridges one day, this popped up in the new section and I was like, what? Can I buy that? Uh, and it does. It ships to Australia. Now, this does not contain perfume, but it contains a bunch of like makeup and beauty minis, which I'm really excited about. I'll open it up and show you. I think this was a hundred Australian dollars. So that's a thing. So there we go. Oh, we'll squeeze it in, squeeze it in. 24 door advent calendar. I'm sorry you guys are getting blinded. I don't I've got lights coming out the wazoo 24 door advent calendar um, oh God, I can't wait to get in this they do list I believe this is still currently available and they do list the products on the website I bought this earlier in the month and It came quite quickly Selfridges has great um, shipping um but I have forgotten what's in there. But I do know it's skincare and makeup. So that's exciting. One thing I will mention about shopping at Selfridges is the shipping is extremely expensive, okay? It's like 40 Australian dollars or something absurd like that per parcel. Now, I signed up for the Selfridges Plus. Is that what it's called? I think so. 75 Australian dollars a year and you get free shipping with every parcel that you or every order that you make within a 12 month period um since then i've made like three or four orders maybe more i don't know i've got problems um however what i have found about selfridges is their products are quite affordable they're always a little bit cheaper than what you can get them in Australia so I've been doing a lot of shopping there and before I buy anything I actually look on the Selfridges website to see if it's there so I would recommend Selfridges if you're a beauty junkie and if they stock a lot of brands that interest you so worth having a look all right I've already been at this way too long Sorry, not sorry. Let's start dipping in to some items that I've got here that are just beauty related. So, Clarins Holiday Lip Collection. Um, this is a five piece lip beauty essentials. Um, I picked this up at David Jones. First up, Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfectors. So you get them in the shades 01 Rose Shimmer, which is a pink. Then there's a nude shade, which is 03 Nude Shimmer. Um, then there is the 06 Rosewood Shimmer. I've used all of these in the past. I've had them in minis and I've had them in full sizes. I adore them. These are just beautiful. There is also a mini lipstick in here. This is a Jolie Rouge lipstick in Soft Berry. It is a nude shade. There is also a mini instant light lip comfort oil in number one honey. This is 2.8 mil. Um, they also have a set that contains, I think, three full size lip oils. I've been trying to find it. I cannot. Let's talk about bare minerals. I picked these products up or I picked one up myself and one's a gift. Um, Mecca Maxima. So this is the Bare Minerals Go Nude or Make a Statement 8-piece collection of mini Gen Nude Radiant and mini Statement Luxe Shine lipsticks. So you get four of each from the range. The ones in the gold packaging are Gen Nudes and the ones in the black packaging are the mini Statement Luxe lipsticks. The next item from Bare Minerals is the Send Nudes. This is a Gen Nude Matte Liquid Lipstick Trio. So there are, if you hear a child screaming, I'm sorry, it's not mine. I can't control it. Um, three full size Gen Nude Matte Liquid Lipsticks in here. There's a shade Hemp, Swank, 
and XYZ. This was a gift uh, from Kat along with another item for my birthday slash Christmas. Uh, beautiful nude colors. You know, I like me some nudes. I do know that particular pack is very noisy, uh, but it's also good value. So if you wanna try them or if you love them already, good way to add some colors to your stash. More Ciate. Now, again, I had to purchase this online from uh, mecca.com.au. This is the Snow Globe, the Liquid Velvet Snow Globe. It contains five like deluxe size um, liquid velvet lipsticks, all beautiful nude shades. I love the formula of these liquid lipsticks. I'm totally down for having them in the minis. And it comes in a snow globe. Like, these people speak my language. They really do. All right, let's talk about a brand that is currently hurting my soul. And not because I don't like the brand or I don't like the products, but because I have misplaced one of the items that I purchased. MAC. Whew. Their holiday 2017 collection is called the Snowball Collection and good lord did they like this this collection smashed it out of the park. I didn't like last year's collection. The year before that was okay. The year before that was okay. I can't even remember what the year before that was. Um, but this year they just like I wanted everything. I wanted every single damn thing. Uh, but I didn't buy everything. However, I did buy this. Uh, this is, what are you actually called? This is the Snowball Mini Lipstick Kit. So, beautiful packaging, sort of rose gold textured. Open it up and there are 12 mini lipsticks in there. So these are some of their most popular shades and actually what's funny about this, I don't own most of these. And what I do own, I adore. So it, it's fine. Um, but this was like a I can't resist that packaging kind of deal. I also love MAC's uh, lipstick formula so I couldn't say no. This was available on Selfridges and significantly cheaper than what it retails for in Australia. Uh, but I missed it, so I paid full price. Another item I picked up is Here Comes the Joy. Now, this looks like it's going to be a highlighter, but it's actually not. This is labelled as a face powder, an opalescent face powder. Uh, it is stunning. It is absolutely beautiful. It's very similar to their beauty powders, but a bit more uh, sheeny bit more sheeny. Um, so glad I got that. Kind of wish I got both. Last thing I have from MAC is two of their eyeshadows except one is missing. I can't believe it. I don't even understand. I don't understand. I had it. I've, I've used it. I don't know where it's gone. It's in the shade Stylishly Merry and I'm like actually depressed that I can't find it. I have looked everywhere. I don't know what I've done with it. It's got to be in this room somewhere. But I am so frustrated that it's a $40 eyeshadow in Australia. $40. The other one I picked up is It's Snowing. Now pretty much everywhere I've looked out, looked for these, they're sold out. So I'm pissed off because I was considering repurchasing Stylishly Merry because then I know when it arrives, the other one will show up and then I have two. Uh, anyway, beautiful shades. These, this one and Stylishly Merry are just stunning. They fit the collection theme so well. I, oh, Mac, you've outdone yourself. This collection really stole my heart this year. I adore it. I do think Mac is too expensive in Australia though. Let's talk about NARS. Uh, the NARS Holiday Collection this year is the Man Ray Collection, and oh, it's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. I picked up uh, four things, and I was gifted something. So let's get into it. These are all available at Mecca Maxima. 
and I believe Mecca Cosmetica as well. I'm going to start with the Love Game eyeshadow palette. So there are two eyeshadow palettes uh, this year. This one is the larger one. This is a 12 pan palette. Beautiful shades. You've got neutrals and then like touches of color and khaki greens and gorgeous. The packaging is stunning. So uh, it's an acrylic overlay with an image underneath and then NARS uh, printed on the plastic. So I would say um, don't be too rough with it because you might uh, scratch off that NARS writing. Now, my opinion of NARS eyeshadows, these are, are they all dual intensity? You know what? I don't think any of these are actually dual intensity eyeshadows, and I think that might be why I like it. So my experience with NARS eyeshadows has mostly been dual intensity eyeshadows, and I haven't liked a single one that I've used. I just think that they are like major letdown when it comes to pigmentation, regardless of how I use them or how I apply them. However, this, this is beautiful. These shades are gorgeous, pigmented, they blend easily, stunning. Um, I was concerned about this purple shade down here because it does feel a bit gritty in the pan. However, it goes on the face gorgeously. Um, something else that I love about this palette is these shades here, when they go on the eye, it literally, like, it's almost like I can hear angels singing from heaven, Christmas carol singing. Like, it is so festive. You've got, like, it's kind of like a silvery taupe and then a beautiful true gold, and it just feels like Christmas. I love this palette. It really surprised me. I was like, when I was swatching it in store, I was like, mm, God, am I really going to, like, risk it? But it just felt right and when I got home I actually used it straight away and I was like I made a good decision next palette this is fucking amazing this is called the veil cheek palette so again acrylic overlay beautiful image underneath and oh, it's over here uh, printed uh, text on top so we've got Laguna here the blush is called lovesick Oh my god, I am lovesick for it. It is stunning and also surreal. I wasn't too sure about this blush when I first saw it. And even when I swatched it, I was like, that's a really beautiful color, but is it going to look ridiculous on me? Fuck no. No, it doesn't. It's absolutely stunning. It's very pigmented. Do be aware of that. It's my new favorite thing. I absolutely adore it. And I kind of resent using other blushes at the moment because I know I have this sitting and waiting for me. It is a stunner. This palette is not cheap. I is 71. Mm -hmm. 71 Australian dollars. However, just I'm dead for this. These are the NARS Audacious Lipstick Coffrets. So I purchased one in store and one online from Mecca. Uh, I purchased the red one in store because I could not resist. And then when I got home, I was lusting after the nude one, but I was really paranoid about making the purchase because I bought last year's Sarah Moon uh, Audacious Lipstick Coffret. And I'm like, there's gonna be doubles, there's gonna be doubles. Turns out there's only one shade that doubles up over both coffrets. So the rest I don't own. And that shade, I believe it's Charlotte. Or perhaps it's yeah I think it's Charlotte and it's from the red one so essentially what you get is an acrylic uh, dome which you take off and then there is an image which you slip out and inside are four audacious lipsticks I haven't experienced any breakage with them. They go on so smoothly. You don't have to like press hard or be rough with them. So I haven't experienced any breakage. I think if I did, I'd probably literally cry a river because these are very expensive. These four sets are $80. Jeez. However, when it comes to buying these coffrets, I do pretty much like the main reason 
I'm buying them is actually for the packaging, this collectible packaging. And dirty little secret, um, I actually, like, I collect vintage makeup items and antique makeup items. Uh, my mum worked in the industry of, like, dealing in antiques and stuff, so collected a lot over the years. And I also sort of started my own more modern day collection, which Hopefully I'll live till I'm a hundred and um, by then they'll be their own antiques. So yeah, yeah, maybe I got problems, definitely got problems. My last NARS item is actually a gift and I swear to God, you're so clever Simon. Uh, this is one of the little NARS Man Ray, um, what are they called? What, what are you calling them? NARS Love Triangles. <laughs> I love it. It's so cute. So this is in the duo of Impassioned and Anna. Inside you get a mini blush and a mini audacious lipstick. Holy shit. I actually, mauvey and purple blushes on me are my favorite. I think they're the best shades for my complexion. Um, so hit it out of the park, Simon. I feel like these would make awesome stocking stuffers. Obviously you're not going to stuff a stocking with 10 of these because they're $35 each unless you got the money to burn. Um, but for a makeup lover in your life, someone who's special to you that you do splurge a little bit more on, something like that is just gorgeous. Let's do something that is not makeup related. This is a diptyque candle. So this is from their holiday collection and it's in the scent who knows frosted forest there we go so uh this year they have three limited edition candles in the large size and the minis and then they sell the large size in a gift pack looks like this and they have mythical creatures on them so this one's a unicorn there's also a phoenix and a dragon i think and they're in different colors. It's red, blue, and green. Now, I liked the packaging of all of them. And I actually wanted to, I was hoping they'd sell a mini coffret, like all three of the minis. I would have probably purchased that, but they didn't. And I didn't like the scent of the large ones enough to um, purchase them in a large size. So I thought, you know what? Also, they're really, really expensive. This smells amazing like forest, like Christmas. It smells like Christmas. It smells like a pine tree. I adore it. Something that really disappoints me, and I didn't notice this until after I purchased it and got it home. This, the unicorn, is a sticker. While we're talking about candles, let's keep going. I picked up um, a Circa Home holiday mini set. So there it is there. You've got three candles, raspberry and rhubarb, cinnamon sticks, and a red spiced pear. Now red spiced pear, I believe they've had the last two years. And raspberry and rhubarb and cinnamon sticks, I think they're new. I might be wrong. Um, but I picked up the mini set. I've got so many big candles. Like behind me, behind this backdrop, I have um, like a bookshelf and my top shelf is just candles out the wazoo so I thought don't buy any of their large ones it's it's too much you've got too much too much but you don't have any minis and I do love to pop a mini on next to my bed and burn it and I especially love to do this during Christmas because I like to take like you know an hour here or an afternoon there or even a day when I've got enough time to just zone out and just be like happy about this time of the year enjoy the weather have my windows open watch like Christmas movies or cartoons burn a Christmas scented candle I just I like to enjoy that so that's why I picked up this mini set for myself this year these candles do not have awesome scent throw. They don't have as good scent throw as their large ones, which makes sense. They're minis. But if you have them in a contained area, like say you're sitting at your desk or like me laying on bed watching Christmas cartoons, 
they're beautiful. You get that nice aroma. They will fill a room, but they won't fill your whole house like um, full-size circle home candles will. I definitely recommend these. I love them. These are like one of my Christmas favorites and I buy them year after year after year. Now the candle brand that is closest to my heart. This is the one that if anyone ever asks me what candle brand do you recommend that's sold in Australia, I say Glass House. Now, this was a cracker. It had like a bit on top and it looked like half a cracker. Um, I opened it. So, I was... so inside there are actually four mini flat candles. This Rio de Janeiro one, oh my God, seriously, just get in my life. There are three other scents in the box. You've got Kyoto, which is Camellia and Lotus, Cypress, which is Sea Salt and Saffron, and Arabian Nights, which is White Oud. Is that how we pronounce it? I think that's how we pronounce it. Um, and the Rio de Janeiro is Passion Fruit and Lime, which is one of my all-time favorites. I adore it. These aren't any of their Christmas scents. This is just a Christmas bundle that was put together and I love it. Um, I love it because I actually didn't like any of the Christmas scents this year. Shock horror. Let's get back to makeup. I'm going to show you some Too Faced items that I picked up. Yes, I still buy Too Faced. Every year I buy this pack and I think this is the first year that I regret my purchase. So this is the Under the Kissel Toe uh, Ultimate Melted Liquefied Lipstick Set. So it's a four pack of their like liquid lip products. You've got two of the uh, melted liquefied lipsticks. Um, so the standard range and then one from the chocolate range. Uh, you've got a melted latex, which I am keen to try out. I've swatched them in store. I think they're a bit sticky for my preference, but obviously I've tried them on the lips. So I'll definitely give it a go. It's a beautiful nude shade too, so, you know. And then there's a melted matte. And I don't know what's wrong with me. Because I feel like if I'd noticed this when I was purchasing it, I wouldn't have purchased it. But it went under my radar. This is the dreaded Drop Dead Red. Drop Dead Red is the worst liquid lipstick that I've tried from this range. Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks, I really love them. Um, all of the ones I've tried, I've really liked. Uh, Lady Balls and Queen Bee are just phenomenal. Drop Dead Red is the worst piece of crap I've ever put on my lips. It is horrible. It is dry. It's it literally flakes off your mouth. It's not attractive. So I've ended up with a mini little bit of purchase regret here. However, I do think they're a great way to try out um, like Too Faced's melted liquid lipstick formula. And if you're curious about the dreaded Drop Dead Red, you can buy it in mini and not waste too much money. I also picked up their um, Beauty Cracker. What a great name. Inside there are four items technically. We'll get to that. Um, so, <clears throat> Melted Liquefied Lipstick in Fig. I really like these. They're great. Um, I love this colour as well. So, I'm totally okay with that. Uh, there is a Mini Shadow Insurance. And I'm going to say this about eyeshadow primer. I usually only have like one at a time. Um, and I particularly like minis because I feel like I manage to go through them before they dry up. Whereas a full size, I always dry up before I can finish them. It's a shame. Uh, and Too Faced Better Than Sex Travel Size. I really like this mascara. I know it's not for everyone, but I enjoy it. And I purchased both of these off Selfridges, so I got them cheaper than the standard Australian price that you would find them in Mecca Maxima. Um, and, you know, I didn't have to pay for shipping because I already paid for a year's worth. The last item that's in the Beauty Cracker is actually this. This is the, uh, it's a pin. It's a Too Faced Heart pin. I what are we for? Why don't we talk about something that's a little bit controversial? Mm, it sounds like my birds have something they want to tell you. Maybe they want to chime in on this guy. Dun dun dun! This is the Winky Lux Mini Lip Pill Kit. Yes. Um, so I purchased this because one, cute AF. 
Uh, two, I was led to believe that this was fantastic value by the box. Uh, and three, QTF. Essentially there are four, five, sorry. For me there's only four because we destroyed one on Beauty News. Uh, five mini lipsticks. Uh, these are so cute and it's basically like a little sampler pack. It retails for $29 in Australia. Uh, we did an episode of the Makeup Breakup on it. If you haven't seen it, you might want to watch it. Um, if you buy one of these and your pack says what my pack says, which is 10 grams net weight um, and on the back net weight 10 grams two grams times five or 0 0.35 ounces, then you should know that that is absolutely not what this package contains. I'm not gonna get into it. Just go and check out the video if you want. So yeah, I think these are really cute. Winky Lux actually offered me a refund on these and I declined politely because I purchased this because I wanted it. Um, and I still want it. I think they are adorable. Um, but I do want to do a bit of a buyer beware with these. There is not much product in them. And it is very, very expensive and not good value for what it is. Just saying. Oh, guys, I have a lip thing here that I'm really excited about. So, um, one of my YouTube slash blogger friends. I think she blogs. Maybe she doesn't. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Her name is Hannah. I will leave a link to her channel down below. She went to the States, I believe for a friend's wedding. And she asked Kat and I if we wanted her to pick anything up for us while she was over there. And I took her up on the offer. I got the Bosha cleansing jelly ball. And one other thing that I've always been interested in trying, we can't get them here in Australia. So I asked her to get me a Sephora favorites box. This is so exciting. If you are a US viewer, you will know exactly what these are. If you are an Australian viewer, um, you probably know what this is as well. Uh, but essentially it is a box that is curated by Sephora with a bunch of different brands and they're usually like category focused. So this one is lips. It's called Give Me More Lip. It's a lip wardrobe. They do mascara ones, perfume ones, skincare ones, like blush and face products. Just, oh my god. If I ever went to America towards Christmas time, I would just buy all of these that are available because I just I fucking love them. I love them. These interest me so much. So, this one was 68 US dollars, 82 Canadian, and it has a 254 US dollar value or 304 Canadian dollar value. Guys, I'm so excited. I haven't even opened this yet. I'm just taking off the sticky bits. Oh my God. Wow. Wow, that's so... Oh, look at the mini dual attic lip. Oh, it's so cute. All right, what have we got in here? So, Dior Addict Lip Maximizer Mini. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. Full size. Sorry, guys, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, Smashbox, we've got... Oh, God, what are you? What are you? Uh, Laura Mercier. We've got a Sephora uh, lip cream. Marc Jacobs. Gosh, what are you? That one's Tarte. We've got a mel Melted Latex from Too Faced. Uh, that's going to be Urban K. This is Touch in Soul. Uh, then we've got Bobbi Brown, which is full size YSL. And this is Wanda Beauty, which is full size. I am so excited to get into this. This is just, yes. Everything, yes. If you live in the States, you are so damn lucky. You are so damn lucky. All right, I have one item that I picked up from Hourglass. This is the Confession Ultra Slim Lipstick Set. So inside there is an Ultra Slim Confession Lipstick and three of the refills. Now, we did 
use one of them in an episode of the makeup breakup it'll be linked up there you can go check it out we were really curious to see how much product was in here um, swatch wise and also we did a weigh test absolutely stunning lipsticks I adore them I am disappointed that hourglass didn't um, have these all in the cases um, I I think it's great that they're refillable because that packaging is just beautiful and it should definitely be kept um, but I'm not the type of person to be like swapping out my lipsticks like I have uh, nine of these now and they're all in cases and if I buy actually well I technically got ten um, but if I buy more of these, I will always buy them in the cases because I'm not the type of person to be swapping them out. This is pretty good value. Um, if you are curious about these and you think they are shades that you would wear, I would 100% recommend that you buy it. Uh, these are the best lipsticks the best they are so beautiful they're creamy they're pigmented they wear so well they're comfortable um just oh god i can't seriously i need to shut up about those lipsticks i feel like it's the only thing i talk about i'm sorry if you're sick of hearing about them but i adore them why don't we do some palettes um i purchased two holiday palettes this year I purchased the Anastasia Anastasia my god what's wrong with me I've been talking too long Anastasia Beverly Hills prism palette so there it is Jesus that green shade that green shade gets me every time I open this palette I purchased this when it was released I was a little bit hesitant because of the subculture debacle subculture I also purchased on release I did get a bad batch um, I've heard that they've like totally reformulated it so it, they're much better now. I, I don't know if that's true. This palette is actually really beautiful. This is like a, it's like if subculture and modern renaissance had a baby, basically. That's kind of what I feel like this is. Um, there's neutral tones in there, there's bright and colorful tones, there's crazy tones. Um, I do still think, like, there's some of the formulas in here are a bit iffy, um, but it is a hundred times more easy to use than, uh, Subculture was. So, if you're interested, I would actually recommend it, um, but it's not a perfect palette. I'm just gonna say that. I will actually try and use this in a just doing my makeup at some stage in the future and talk about it a little bit more in depth. This is Kat Von D Saint and Sinner eyeshadow palette. All right, there it is. This packaging, my goodness, it is beautiful. And no regrets. When I look at it like this, I have no regrets. When I open it up, I have regrets. It just looks so busy. I'm the type of person I like to have mattes in my crease and as my transition shade, and then I like to have the party over the eyelid. So you've got a matte black. Okay, but we've all got a matte black. Um, you've got a matte cream and a matte sort of mauvey pink. They're too light to do anything with other than highlight. Then you've got a camel and a burnt orange, which are mid-tone. You can totally use them as um, like transition shades uh, or if you wanted like a light crease, kind of like what I've done today, um, they would be fine. Then you've got a bright purple and this actually does have some sheen to it, so it's not completely matte. And then you have uh, this shade over here, which is crucifix and it looks to be a dark brown looks like it would be quite versatile however it goes on very cool on the skin and um it throws a lot of gray a lot of gray um there are two other like kind of mattes so ashes up here and revelation they're both a matte base but they've got a green and gold 
micro glitter respectively so green up here gold down here and they don't work too great as like transition or sort of creasy shades so the mattes are i feel like literally every time i use this palette i am creating the exact same crease and transition look which is boring as fuck um and then when you start getting into the like actual colors I'm just kind of like, what? When I look at it as a whole, I'm like, oh yeah, okay. But when I'm looking at it individually and like thinking of what I want to do, pretty much the only thing that inspires me is this green vestment. The rest is kind of like bland sauce. Um, so Cap Von D um, Saint and Sinner palette, I will say the formula is fantastic. I just don't think it's a palette that is particularly interesting, to be perfectly honest. Um, I think, honestly, I think they could have done more. I think they could have done better. I really do. With packaging like that, I think they potentially could have done better. Let's take another break from beauty and talk about... Oh, there's glass in here. T2! Yay! So, um, I didn't shop much from the T2 Holiday Collection. I just picked up a couple of things. I'll take the glasses out. Um, I will say, actually, these are not holiday related, but I'll show them to you. These are negative space tea um, tumblers, mugs, uh, glasses. Fuck. <laughs> So essentially there is like a negative space in between the outside of the glass and the inside of the glass. These are my favorites. I had one, I adored it and I dropped it in the sink one day and it shattered into like three or four pieces, but it felt like the way my heart shattered into a million pieces. So I picked up two of these great little gift for a tea lover in your life, but they are not actually holiday related. What I did pick up from their like Christmas line was T2 Christmas Breakfast. These are the uh, flavored individual tea bags. You know what's so cute about this? There's 25 tea bags in this box. It's almost like a tea bag advent calendar. I'll see what you did there, T2. Whether you did it intentionally or not, I don't care. I see it. Um, actually, something that's funny, T2 did bring out a tea advent calendar this year. I tried to... No, I didn't try to buy it. Uh, what I did was I saw it, it came, I'm like, mm, I'll just wait, they'll have heaps of stock and um, they'll send me a 10% off discount voucher and I will buy it. And I also planned on going to their Christmas launch party and I was like, it's fine, they'll have heaps there, I can get one there, I don't need to buy it online. Um, and they literally sold out like within days. So missed out on that. Um, another thing I got was a T2 Choc Nut Selfies. So this is a 10 pack of like chocolate and nut related teas. So examples, we've got Lamington, uh, White White Cocoa, Caramel Brownie and Hot Chocolate. And then there's like a bunch of others in there. I really like these little sampler packs. It's a great way to try different teas without like going into a long-term relationship with a full box or uh, even a large tin. So I'm into it. I think T2, I can't resist buying something from their Christmas collection. It's just, it's one of those brands that has like, it's, it's not Christmas unless I buy something from T2, basically. Okay, we're getting to the business end of things. Let's do uh, the final makeup items that I purchased. It's all from Stila. <laughs> um, let's actually, let's start with these because these are not technically holiday. However, in Australia, these released um, with the holiday collections. These are the three new, uh, I believe they're considered duochrome, um, Magnificent Metals and Glitter and Glow from Stiller. So we've got Into the Blue, 
Sunset Cave and Sea Siren. Now, if you have a glittery makeup lover in your life, oh God, get them, get them these. They are stunning colors. You've got a purple, a pink, and a blue. I am in love with them. They are stunning. All right, let's get into the packs. Still outdid themselves this year with their holiday packs. Um, oh my God, I'm gonna drop things. From what I can tell, they're all very good value. Um, one in particular stuck out to me in store and I was like, wow, I've got to get that. That's great value. Um, but I'll start with this one. This is the Chosen Ones. So it contains three smudge pot waterproof gel eyeliners and a travel brush. Now, the brush um, is a two-piece and it slips into the base of the brush. Um, so it protects the bristles when you travel. There's a cranberry shade in there, a blue and a black. I've used a cranberry beautiful. I do believe they are mini pots as well. Then we have two of their like Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glow. Um, uh, what's the other one? This is written in the stars. It's a Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow Set. You get Diamond Dust, Kitten Karma and Smoky Storm. Beautiful. I've used Diamond Dust. It is stunning and it has hollow glitter in it as well. Um, it doesn't come up you know, as like straight up hollow on the eye, but it is really beautiful. The next one I have is the Eye for Elegance set. This is a six piece set. You get three Shimmer and Glow and three Glitter and Glow. Now Shimmer and Glow is the new formula that they're adding to the range. It will release in the States um, sometime in January, I believe, and then it'll come to Australia a couple of months after that. So the shades we have are Peachy Sheen, Smoldering Satin, and Next to Not. And then over here, we've got Kitten, Grace, and Twig. Beautiful. I love these. I love these little packs. They're just... I love the product. And then when I can get them in minis that are fully functional, just like a full-size item at a good price, I... How can you say no? I can't. I can't. If you can, you're a better person than I am. Um, another one I picked up is the Stiller Big Shots. So this contains Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, full size, and a uh, an, uh, huge Extreme Lash Mascara. It is huge, trust me. Now, this pack retail for $36.00. And I can't remember what I was looking at, whether it was the mascara or the eyeliner sold individually in Australia. It was, I think, 26. So or maybe it was a bit more. I don't know. The details will be on the screen, but one of them you got heavily discounted. So how could I say no? I really wanted to try this Stiller liner as well. I have a mini that I haven't used yet, but I hear it's so good. So I had to had to do it. And finally, the last thing I picked up from Stella was the Play It Cool Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick Set. So this is the mini set um, and I got, I chose the cool pack. They also had a warm trio and then a big six pack. Um, you guys can see I went lip mad this year so I tried to restrain myself. Um, but I'm glad that I did because I do find that these are actually uh, a little bit drying for me. So not like a favorite favorite, um, but I do love the colors. And being in a mini, like I feel like I can actively try to use them rather than looking at a full size and going, that is drying and I'll never finish it. So little bit of purchase regret with this one. Um, but I think I will still manage to get some use out of them. What? So, Lush sent me that box. As you can see, there is so much in here and this video is already going to be so long. I've had to restart this camera so many times. I don't want to rush through all of this and I would, like, I love Lush Christmas stuff. I said before, it's not Christmas unless I buy something from T2, and it is certainly, certainly not Christmas unless I have a massive Lush haul. So I want to do this stuff justice. I want to do the, like, the Lush Christmas range justice. So I'm going to film that now in a separate video. Um, 
after I take a break and have a snack. Uh, but I, yeah, I want to, I don't want to rush through this. I want to enjoy going through it and talking about like the scents and things like that. So um, I'm going to wrap this video up. It's been a long one. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope maybe you got some like Christmas inspiration or I hope you like you're feeling a little bit festive and if you're not into Christmas totally respect that but still happy holidays to you my friend um I I think you know if, even people who don't celebrate Christmas whether it be due to their religion or their um like the lack of religion in their life they simply don't believe in it um I hope that you can still have some you know, happiness and joy, spending time with the ones that you care about the most, I think. And it's making me like, this is what Christmas does to me. It makes me like, it makes me feel the feels. Um, so I hope you guys have a really awesome holiday season, Christmas season, however you choose to celebrate it. And if you don't celebrate it all, I hope you just have like a really nice break from work hope that hope you get that at the very least all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you made it all the way to the end oh my god you are amazing um give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one bye guys